Okay. <laughs> This is white tail deer tenderloin. We're gonna smoke it over the fire, and make jerky. Uh, it's how the Native Americans used to uh, preserve their meat. They would um, cut this into thin strips, the thinner the better. Hang it over the fire, smoke it about 24 hours or um, 48 hours. using an obsidian blade. The natives here in Missouri would have used a chert or traded for obsidian. So a lot of the times the natives would have an abundance of meat and this would in turn be one of the quick, quickest ways to preserve the meat um, and help them survive throughout the winter months when um, meat might be a little more scarce. Um, vegetation, of course, would be scarce. Um, they would have also used salt. And uh, you can actually bury meat if you pack it in salt to preserve it. I heard of a or I've read of tribes doing that. They would dig six feet down, just like a grave really, and pack their meat in rock salt. This is juniper berry. Only a little juniper berry, little goes a long way.
This is our salt and pepper mix. We cut our uh, venison up in really thin chunks. You can already see that it's starting to get stiff, it's starting to keep its shape, it's starting to dry out. Now we don't want our meat to get too close to the fire because we don't really want it to cook. We just want it to smoke and dry and turn into jerky. Uh, this is how the natives used to do it. This is how they used to preserve their meat. You can preserve fish. Um, any sort of meat like this, uh, possum, raccoon, anything like this. Um, as I've said, they also buried it in the ground, put salt all over it. But uh, they kept warm, warm with uh, furs. You can see I have the deer and the fox uh, furs here. I also have uh, this is uh, this is um, cow cow hide. They made clothes out of that, of course, and they wrapped their teepees in, in, in all of that. Of course, we don't have enough, um, we don't have buffalo hides or enough deer hides to wrap our uh, teepee, so we had to do the canvas and the regular tarps. But uh, it's already significantly more warm and warmer in here. We left the top open for ventilation as they did. Um, their teepees were about 20 by 14 so they were really big for an entire family i would imagine they would be just about this big i tried to make uh, a replica uh, from what i've read and um, the women would actually do a lot of the uh, hard labor as far as taking the teepees down packing everything up putting everything up uh, so they would have done all that but um this is how a lot of the natives kept warm. Now, I didn't see a whole lot on fires being inside teepees. Uh, I would have imagined that they would have kept a fire in here and slept around the fire. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what they did, but a lot of the drying and the meat curing and everything happened outside of the teepee on tripods like this. Uh, the reason I don't have mine outside of the TP is because this takes 24 hours. I want it in here. Um, I'm afraid of, we have some uh, fox around here, and I'm afraid they might get it. But uh, we'll see. Uh, it takes about 24 hours to get this done. So I moved it in here. Another thing the natives used to utilize is rocks. So uh, the rocks around the fire, they would heat up really nicely. And these are already pretty hot. And what they would do is they would actually put that next to them uh, as they slept in the in the furs the deer skins the buffalo hides and everything they would put the rocks next to them and it would keep them warm throughout the night and they would just keep rotating rocks next to the fire um but anyway thank you for joining us for this uh for this primitive video um we didn't use a lot of primitive items this time to construct the um the tp but um this is how they used to dry their meat. So we're gonna try this out. Uh, we appreciate you guys. Sorry we haven't been out in um, making uh, primitive videos lately. Uh, FourDirectionsBushcraft.com is doing very well. We wanna thank you guys for that. You are a lot of the reason for that. And um, thank you for sticking by us. Uh, even though we haven't had much content, um, the business keeps us inside a lot. But try to get out here we try to do some fun stuff and we appreciate you guys 
Thank you, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Have fun out there. All right, everybody. So our beef jerky turned out great. This is 24 hours now. It was a little long or my fire might have gotten a little too hot because although it is still chewy, it's pretty brittle and dry. But it's preserved and I can rehydrate this with water. So like I said, I think my fire got a little too close but it didn't cook, it just, it dried. But that's okay, because it's preserved. It's crunchy, but I can rehydrate this easily in some water. It's delicious, so thanks again, guys. Have fun out there, thanks for all your subscriptions, all your comments, all your support, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care out there, have fun.